Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 24 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook. And we need to determine the X and Y components of each of these three forces. And for that, we need um, either some information about the angles of these vectors with X or Y axis. Or if you look at them, we'll see that we have all the dimensions. So we can get information about the slope of each of these forces. Let's start with the 106 pounds force which is this one. So if you look at this right triangle in here, we have one base 28, the other side is 45. So if you do the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the hypotenuse of this force pretty easy. Let's call this point A. So our OA would be basically the square root of 45 squared plus 28 squared. And if we calculate this, so we have the square root of 45 squared plus 28 squared, which is going to be 53. So now we should be able to find the X and Y component. Now that we have the hypotenuse, we know that the X component would be these two forces that I'm showing in here. So this will be our X component and this will be our Y component. We can see that they're both positive. So... If we want to find fx and fy, oh, we know both of them are positive because they act along the positive x and y axis. So we have the force times the cosine of that angle, which would be 28 over the hypotenuse, which we found 53. So this side adjacent over the hypotenuse, and we have the same thing for fy this time we only have the opposite which is 45 here over 53 we can call this angle alpha so basically this was our cosine of alpha and this is our sine of alpha so we can calculate each of these so let's we'll start with the first one 106 times 28 divided by 53 that's going to be 56 pounds all the dimensions all the units are in pounds and for y we have 106 times 45 divided by 53 that's going to be 90 pounds and that was everything for the first one let's move on to the the 102 force i'm going to show you a different color so this time we're going to look at this right triangle and we can call this angle beta and this point we're going to call it b so again we're going to find the uh, hypotenuse first so ob will be the square root of 24 squared plus 45 squared and let's see what we get so 24 squared plus 45 squared that's going to be 51 so now that we have that, we should be able to find the X and Y components. Just clean the figure a little bit. Now let's dissolve it to X and Y component. This will be our X component and this will be our Y. If we look at it, we'll see, and we call this angle beta. If we look at it, we'll see that the X component is negative and the Y is upward, so Y is positive. So we have the 102 pounds force. And we are looking for fx and fy. So fx negative, fy positive, the force is 102. And this time we'll have the cosine of beta, which would be the adjacent 24 divided by the hypotenuse or 51. And for fy, we have 102 times the opposite, which is 45 over 50. So this will be negative, this is positive. Let's calculate this first. So 102 times 24 divided by 51. So 102 times 24 divided by 51. That's going to be 48 pounds. And 102 times 45 divided by 51. That's going to be 90 and the last force i'm going to show within green will be this one you can call this point c you have the 200 force 
200 pounds force and one thing that i forgot to mention this time we had this as cosine of our beta and this will be our sine of beta so if you want to find oc we have the pythagorean theorem for oc which will be what we have for this side 40 inches so 40 squared plus the other side is 30 and that's going to be 50 it's that famous combination three four five for the right triangle the force is 200 pounds and we are trying to find the fx and fy let's get back in here so this will be our x component and this will be our y we can see they're both along the negative x and y axis so we have a negative sign for both 200 200 and this time we have cosine of this angle here we can call it gamma so the cosine would be the adjacent over hypotenuse 40 over 50 and we have 30 over 50 or the opposite which is this side gamma this will be our cosine of gamma and this will be our sine and all we need to do is calculate each of these. We know 200 divided by 50 is 4. So this will be minus 160 pounds. And this will be minus 120. So yeah, that would be the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We're covering three different textbooks in this channel for engineering mechanics. Uh, feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.